down. Now, feel around the latch for a trunk release. If it's a newer car, it'll have one. Uh, no, nothing. All right, so we know we're in an old car. It's a start. Old car? No, that is not a start. Maybe they removed the trunk latch. You got any tools back there with you? Check for a compartment. There might be a jack in it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a jack. I think I can pop the lid with one of these. That's the idea, but we don't want them to hear it pop. So, so I want you to bang around a lot when you do it. And shout, too. Hmm? Okay. Here it goes. Hey! Hey, let me out of here! Help! Help! It's open. It worked. Just crack the lid. Tell me what you see. I see construction workers on the road. This is Chicago. That could be anywhere. Oh! Road cones! Buildings for businesses. What do you see? Oh, that's... No, no, I don't know what that is. Come on, man. There's a half-demolished apartment building. Looks like housing projects. Sounds like you're in the wards. Good. Brewer, anything else? Just a lot of buildings, Ray. Do they say anything? Well, I can't see. Wait, more road cones. Keep that trunk closed and brace yourself. Whoa, wait, brace myself? Why brace myself? The ride's about to get bumpy.
Just hang on! More fixers. Shit, these guys just don't know when to quit. Hang on, Trevor! Him. More fixes. I lost him. Keep your eyes sharp. Shit. These guys just don't know when to quit. Got you Hang on, We're here. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Looks like we're clear. I don't know what to expect when I open that trunk. Fruwer was a mess when we parted ways. Aiden ran into him recently, said he was homeless. Doped up on something that barely coherent. Hell, Fruwer probably still blames me for all his problems. Jesus, Ray. It really zapped me. 
Says the lunatic with the tire iron. I'm not a lunatic. So you gonna tell me what you did to piss off the fixers? Me? <laughs> this is on you. I'm still running from your mess. I have been ever since you and Rose decided to blow whistles at Bloom. I had a good life, Ray. You sure fooled me. We had to walk around on eggshells because you were such a head case. Rose is dead now, and your little tantrum in 2003. How many people died? Yeah. And I'm the head case. You little shit. I'm sorry, I didn't. I, I... You know what? Thanks for the rescue. But I need to go. Eleven. Eleven people died. Lindsay Garcia. Jeremy Connors. You want more? Because I can list them all for you. If you run, Bloom will find you. I know, because I'm the one who wrote the goddamn code that'll help him to do it. Now, I can get you out. But I need to hit Bloom again. Find out what the hell they know. You can stay in my place. Just don't touch my stuff. Don't monkey with my system. And don't make any noise. Yeah. I'll try to control myself. And most importantly, do not touch any of my beer. I don't drink. Of course you don't. I wasn't planning on sticking around. I need to make a call. Detective Billing speaking. Sheila. Mystery man, is that you? I assumed you were dead. Did you miss me? Nope. I love the growing tower of crime reports on my desk. Please tell me that's why you called. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm running low on cash. And supplies. Well, there's plenty to do. Every gangbanger, goon, and gorilla's out there fighting for a piece of the cake now that Lecky Quinn and Iraq are dead. And I'm running out of people to trust within the department. Just point me in the right direction, and I'll do the dirty work. Or a fee. Taxpayer money, keeping the thugs off the streets. Ain't it beautiful when the system works, sweetheart? <laughs> you are bad. Hold on. I'll send you what I've got. Let me check my map. I've marked one of the groups for you. The Chicago South Club. Now spearheaded by Quinn's baby boy. All right. Some of these will be one-time targets of opportunity, and some of them will be done to send a message. Hit those once a day, so they know we're watching. Just remember, if you get caught... Never heard of you. Good. Give me a call before you go in.